Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy, Ronin22. Got a new reading log video for you guys. This would be pretty much everything that I have read for the month of February. Now, this month I did not think I was going to read that much to be honest, because it was a pretty busy month for me in my uh, personal life, so didn't think I was going to read that much, but I ended up reading a little bit more than I thought. I think I read roughly about 13 or 14 volumes of manga, so it was a pretty good month. And uh, yeah, I don't want to ramble on too long for you guys to bore you, but this would be pretty much everything I read this month. Alright, so the first thing I did read this month is Blood on the Tracks, Volume 3 and 4. Really, really been enjoying this series so much. I actually think I've been enjoying it more than I thought it was. Like, I like Shuzo Shimi. I enjoyed Flowers of Evil. I have to say, I actually think I actually like this manga so far a little bit more than Flowers of Evil so far. At least, I hope it ends really well because, you know, sometimes you read a series and then the ending might fall flat. But this series so far, I haven't had any complaints. It's a super quick read. I really love Shuzo Shimi's art style. Also, writing, even though there isn't that much dialogue in this manga, it's super quick. It's pretty much tells its story by, you know, it's his artwork. But he is a genius when it comes to psychological horror. So that's more of my alley and more of a psychological horror type of guy than, you know, physical gore and all that. So yeah, this series I've been really enjoying and I definitely am looking forward to volume five. Alright, the next thing I also read is Golden Kamoi Volumes 9 through 12. So I read four volumes of that series and you guys know I love me some Golden Kamoi. It is probably my current favorite ongoing series right now. I love historical manga. That's usually my favorite type of genre when it comes to manga and I just love I'm learning so many new things with this series the culture and uh, food facts hunting it just has everything packaged in one series it's just hilarious also and the characters are just fun and all their banters and interactions it's just crazy it has everything you would want um, I would say volumes 11 and 12 was pretty weird I mean the series gets pretty weird but 11 and 12 was a little bit out there Especially with that one character that was like going around molesting animals and stuff, which was pretty disgusting. But it does it in a weird way, obviously in humor way. But, you know, I don't want to turn anybody off with the series because I definitely think, you know, this series is fantastic and it's a must read. There's a reason why a lot of people really enjoy this series. So if you want something different that you guys haven't read before, I highly recommend reading Golden Kamui. Alright, another series I did read is Gundam Thunderbolt Volume 15. You guys know I'm on the Gundam hype train. I love Gundam. It's one of my favorite franchises of all time. And uh, I've been picking up Gundam Thunderbolt for quite some time now. I really enjoy the series. This volume, I would say, was a little bit slow in the beginning. It started to pick up really towards the end. Like, the ending had a pretty big shocking moment in here that I'm definitely not going to try to spoil it for you guys. But... Something definitely big happened in this volume and it was pretty crazy. So yeah, this volume I enjoyed. I always wonder when is this series going to end because it's pretty much in its last arc. But I don't know when this series is going to end because, you know, there hasn't really been any information when this series is going to end. So I'm hoping it doesn't drag on too long. But yeah, I really do enjoy Gundam Thunderbolt and I uh, look forward to the next volume. Alright, so I also read... Four volumes of Jujutsu Kaisen, read volumes one through four. And I have to say, when I first started reading this series, I wasn't feeling it in the beginning. But once I started reading more of it, I really started to enjoy this series a whole lot more. It's pretty addictive for me. I really enjoy this. It's been a while since I've enjoyed a shonen title for quite some time now. One thing I really like about this series is usually when it comes to shonen titles, I usually don't like all of the cast members. I usually don't really even care for the main protagonist. It's usually the side characters I like the most. But I have to say, I really like Yuji as a main character in here. Everybody loves Gojo. I mean, Gojo is a beast. I love Toto also. He's one of my favorite characters. So just overall, the characters are great. 
I love all of them and the stories I enjoy. It's definitely reminds me of a little bit of a Yu Yu Hakusho mixed with Bleach, but more of a horror twist to the series and just overall, I'm having a lot of fun with this series. I'm hoping I can pick up more volumes of this because it's been pretty much out of stock everywhere. I don't know if it's because of the pandemic with, you know, Viz. You know, Viz has a lot of books right now that are like out of stock. So, you know, I'm hoping I can pick up more volumes of this series. All right, so for the last manga that I did read actually was a digital release and it is called All Rounder. This is a sports series that revolves around mixed martial arts. This is done by the same creator who did Eden It's an Endless World, which a lot of people really love that manga. And uh, All Rounder is a manga that I really enjoyed a lot for uh, at least the first volume that I read because I'm, you know, I'm into mixed martial arts. I've been, you know, kickboxing and wrestling and doing jujitsu my whole life since I was like a little kid. I competed for so long, and I just love the sport in general. It's one of my passions, and uh, it was cool to read a more realistic take on mixed martial arts. I have to say, the manga did a really good job explaining the aspects of the grappling world showing like how to perform an arm bar or a rear naked choke or a guillotine it's very realistic the way he explains it and i have to you know give a props to that because usually when you read like a martial arts you know manga it's usually more over the top and less realistic but this one was actually pretty realistic and it was a uh, explaining it pretty good so i enjoyed this manga I wish it would have got an actual physical release because I would pick it up in a heartbeat because it was actually a fun read. And uh, I'm not much of a digital guy, but when I have to pick it up, I will support it. So this is a series I hope maybe one day we'll get a physical release. I doubt it will, but if it did, it would be real cool. So if you guys want to check this series out, I would uh, recommend it. But yeah, that is pretty much everything I read this month. Not too many things. Made it short and simple. For you guys but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i would really appreciate it if you guys like comment and subscribe and your boys out